All right, guys, so we got to talk about Elon Omar, the, w w one of the people who are in the infamous squad. She's, she's very salty about the Soleimani strike that Trump did. Now, here's the thing. I agree with taking him out, and I also disagree with taking him out. It's, it's a very gray area for me, because on one hand, I'm like, we, we shouldn't even be in the Middle East in the first place. We, we should have never been there in the first place. We should have left, and we haven't yet, unfortunately. Even though Trump has done a great job of not continuing on the same bullcrap that Obama and Bush did, so I give him kudos for that. But on the same note, I'm like, well, we shouldn't even be in the Middle East in the first place. We should have never gone to the Middle East in the first place. And the reason being is that every time we're there, every time we try to fix a regime or take out this dictator or do this or give them democracy or whatever the hell the government says we're going to go in and do, it always ends up freaking worse than where, where it started. The United States has no business in the Middle East. We should have left right after 9-11. What should have happened is that we, we were attacked on 9-11. What we should have then done instead of a full throttle invasion and war is that we, we should have unleashed an ungodly a, a tirade of bombings and strikes for about a week and then call it quits. But instead, we went in guns blazing, started a war that lasted, you know, for a full decade, hundreds of thousands of people died, including American soldiers, for essentially nothing. Because the, the original reason why we were going in Afghanistan was, or Iraq, is because they had weapons of mass destruction, uh, weapons of mass destruction, nuclear bombs, and so on and so forth. Chemical weapons, and therefore. We went in, and we went out not, you know, with our tails between our legs, essentially, and having not accomplished the original goal of dismantling remembering and finding these WMDs. Instead, it was all about oil. And of course, I blame the Democrats too because they had nothing to say during the the, the war in Iraq and the war in Afghanistan, and they didn't, and they sure as hell didn't have anything to say when Obama was doing his drone strikes, which was all the time. And Obama essentially officiated the rise and creation of ISIS in the first place, and basically giving them or arming them with weapons through the FSA. And then Trump comes along, and then ISIS disappears, like you. You don't hear about ISIS anymore. You don't see any headlines about them anymore. You want to know why that is? Because they're they're they, they're defeated. Russia and the Syrian government, Assad and so forth, came in and wiped the floor with them. And America took a hands-off uh, approach, and things got better. And that is my essential problem w with the neoliberals and the Democrats and Hollywood elites and liberals is that they're they're so hypocritical. W w where were all of these liberals and Democrats when Obama was bombing the crap out of Syria? When, when Obama was doing his damn drone strikes, where, where were they? They want to talk about how uh, uh, Trump taking out Soleimani is, is, an, is an act of war, but anytime you bomb another country, it's an act of war. Rather or not, if that country has the capability of retaliating. The only difference is that Iran does have a standing military and is one, one of the powerhouses of the Middle East. But the thing is, is that I, I don't fear Iran. I'm not scared that Iran is going to nuke America or nuke Israel. I, I don't believe that bullcrap. Oh, and by the way, like, well, why are we sending $3 billion a year to Israel? Like, that, like, that is a question that needs answering. But besides that, I don't fear North, uh, I, I don't fear North Korea. I, I don't fear the Iranian government. We are all the way here in America. I am all the way on the west side of the United States. So I do not fear any nukes or bombings from Iran. And now, of course, the only reason why Trump took this guy out is a show of force and retaliation for the embassy attack in Iraq. And again, even though I give Trump props on not going full throttle and doing what Obama and Bush did, we are unfortunately still in the Middle East and we don't belong there. We have some tens of thousands of troops stationed in the Middle East. We have all of this technology there and whatnot. And why are we there? Well, what is the purpose of being there? We don't have a purpose there. 
And of course, what the war hawks and warmongers in the both Democratic Republican, both Democrat and Republican parties would say is that Iran is arming these terrorist groups, Iran is propping them up and so forth, and yet Saudi Arabia is right there. They have a lot more money and a lot more influence and we have essentially done nothing about Saudi Arabia and and in fact we actually give them uh, sell them weapons we buy their oil and we communicate with them and they're tired of and, and the tired old line of we need to stay there to establish a democracy and establish order is fruitless it's pointless because the Middle East has proven itself time and time again that they don't want our order they do not want our democracy and that they do not want anything to do with us besides to sell us their oil other than that they don't want anything to do with us they don't want anything to do with our culture our way of life they think it's strange and weird whatever simply put they want to do things their way and you can't barge into a country say we're gonna give you a democracy because it's pointless because in a democracy you can vote to not have a democracy and of course democracy is the worst thing to go because it's it's mob rule many people still get the idea wrong that America is a, is a democracy we're not we are a representative we are a representative Republic not a democracy and that's just how they, they want things that they don't want our help that they don't want our influence that they don't want us involved and when we you know like, like the case with Isis when we take a hands-off approach when when we are take a back seat things get accomplished Isis was wiped out not because of America because of the efforts of the Russian and Syrian government and of course the Iranians helped kick their ass out too but still and unfortunately since we're not since that's never going to happen we're not going to leave the Middle East until all the oil dries up and I'm going to make a prediction a prediction for you right now as soon as all of the oil has dried up we will magically leave the Middle East it would be nothing anymore until that happens we're not going to go anywhere and if we're going to stay there it's only reasonable to wave around and have a show of force when somebody or some group decides to step on our toes of course you want to do that in, in the world stage you don't you don't want to be seen as weak that is a good thing to you know have a backbone in these situations versus that of Obama who was like oh if, if they cross this red line we're gonna we're gonna retaliate they, they cross the red line nothing happens that is essentially why so many countries in the world did not respect Obama and did not respect the United States at the time because they saw us as weak so yes Trump did make the right decision on taking this guy out he showed the Iranians a, a show of force because what, 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 what would the Democrats want to do sanction them some more nobody cares the Iranian government and most any government that we sanction it doesn't do shit it doesn't do anything so Trump did make the right decision on taking this guy out, but again, my only beef is that we're still there, and we shouldn't be there, but you can't change that, so it is what it is, so he made the right choice. Now, in general, Trump is very good at these foreign policy deals, and that he's been very reluctant to fall in the path of Obama and Bush, which I give him massive credit for. And even though this strike was necessary, it's unnecessary because we shouldn't be there in the first place. And again, something that really irks me is the, hip, is, is the hypocritical statements from the left who would have no problem if Obama would have done this. They had no problem with Obama's drone strikes and Obama's quote unquote taking out of bin Laden. But Trump does the same thing. And, you know, he it's like when he took out the leader of ISIS, Baghdadi or whatever the hell his name is. What was the Democratic liberal response? They were an upheaval. They were upset. They were bitchy. And the same thing applies here. Trump takes out this guy that, that, that the Pentagon says was thinking of striking the United States. I find that questionable because he doesn't have the means to do it excuse me for having trust issues with our current intelligent agencies so trump took that and, and he you know he killed a Soleimani and, and that, that's it case closed it's, it's, it's a it's a simple show of force that you know you can't step on the united states toes without expecting retaliation and the Democrats and liberals need to shut their mouths because if it was a Democrat, if it was Obama, their Messiah doing this, they would praise him until the cows came home for doing this. And no, I, I don't believe we're, we're going to get into a third world war. I, I don't believe that to happen. Again, Iran does not have the 
capability, mi military speaking, to uh, go on a full throttle war with America. Now, now, if you talk about how Iran and some of the Middle East is uh, essentially R Russian's puppet, then you can make the argument of maybe maybe Russia retaliates against the United States. I don't find that likely either. See, here's the thing: America owns Israel. That that is all vassal state. And Russia controls Iran. And we're basically fighting each other over power and resources, oil. The grand chessboard, if you want to call it that, is still in play. And it's not going to go away. And I believe that this is not going to escalate to a full-blown-out World War III scenario that many memesters online, on 4chan specifically, are predicting. I, I don't predict a World War III. We're safe. We're not going to go into a draft. Calm down, ladies. But then, uh, but then again, on the same note, you guys wanted equal right so you know if men get drafted it's only equally responsible to have women drafted at the same time but either way trump did a good job on attacking this guy and showing a show of force and showing that america is not weak and trump is not someone to be played with good on him america needs to have that reputation of don't mess with us and the democrats and liberals well they, they need to shut up because they're being hypocrites because they had nothing to say when obama was doing the damn same thing but either way, you guys go ahead and let me know what you thought about this in the video comment below. And again, the link to all of these articles will be in the description box below. If you guys want to check them out, I recommend you do. And that's about it for this video. Peace out, guys.